Welcome to Putney, where we've installed a 12 kilowatts Aerotherm Plus from Valent, which does heating, hot water and cooling capabilities, and a full MVHR system. Come have a look. Just turn the heat pump on now to do cooling in the property. What the heat pump is doing is, instead of running in a heating mode, it's reversing its cycle and producing chilled water. We can get the heat pump to run as low as seven degrees and they get delivered to the MVHR heat batteries. So the fresh air that circulated through the property is now chilled due to the temperatures that the air source heat pump has produced. It is running, it's extremely quiet. What you will notice with it running now is that it's taken the heat from the air and it's managed to turn it to chilled water. And one of the byproducts of that is warm air. Um, in reverse of that in the winter, which is when it produces heating, the air that gets extracted from the fans is actually colder than when it gets pulled in. One of the other things we had to take into consideration with this project is that we had to couple the heating and hot water system with backup. The reason for that is that the client does have a child that they need to take extra precautions with. So having the backup with a boiler is gonna give them reassurances that if anything does fail, they have got an alternative. So we don't normally install hybrid systems with backup boilers, but this was a certain specification that was given to us by the clients. So now we're inside the plant room. What we've installed here is an MVHR system. We have two of these, one for the upper levels and one for the ground floor, which our team has installed. The other things that we have installed is the gas boiler, which is here only as a backup. We're not trying to use it to supplement or add additional heat for the heat pump, that can do it by itself. But if there is a failure, we do know that on the flick of a switch, we can get heating back into the property in no time. We've got a valent buffer. This buffer is the same buffer that provides heating in the winter and also cooling in the summer. We've designed this system with the builders. We've worked well together to implement a system that has single app compatibility from that heating and cooling system. So it should be a quick switch over for the clients. We tend to use as much as we can all valent products because we know that the integration and the efficiency with it all working together is the best that we can offer for the client too. So when when we talk about designing the system with the builders, what we want to try and achieve is the most efficient system as possible. When we look at the underfloor heating systems, we don't add additional pump sets and blending valves because they do take away some of that efficiency from the system. With the gas boiler system added to it, what we need to be careful of is that we don't implement higher amounts of heat into the underfloor heating system because that can damage some of the materials that are laid on top of it. So Valent are allowing us to install a diverter valve kit. And what this does is with the use of a single pump and this mixing valve, we take what is stored in the buffer, which could be as high as 80 degrees, and blend it down to a usable 40 degrees, which is then distributed throughout the entirety of the property. James is just going over a few final commissioning checks. Uh, he's done a very good job in installing this plant room, given the limited space that we've got and the amount of kit that's gone into it. This is our Zender MVHR unit. You can't actually see it, but there's one of the cooling batteries installed into the ceiling. So the ground floor is going to be supplied throughout with the same chilled water that's been produced by the air source heat pump. With the cooling side, there are a few things that we need to think about. It isn't a very aggressive form of cooling. It's kind of a way that the system would sit back and take the edge of the property and bring it down to a more comfortable level. So as we run the underfloor heating and you've got a desired set temperature, it will be good to try and get the cooling to the same. So rather than your property sitting at 26, 27 degrees on a hot day, it's able to bring it down to a nice comfortable temperature of about 21 or 22 degrees Celsius in the summer, making it a lot more livable and comfortable for the clients. Some of the other considerations that we need to think about is controls. So we've used heat miser cooling stats that work in partnership with the heat miser heating thermostats and all of the pipes that get sent from the air source heat pumps to the plant room and back to the MVHR units and their cooling batteries need to be very well insulated. Otherwise they drip with condensation and can cause damage to the property afterwards. So that's everything that we've done in this property. Thank you for watching. If you're thinking about heat pump, solar, battery, MVHR or air conditioning for your property, then contact us at Elite Renewables. You can give us a ring on 020 8706 0056 or you can contact us through our website at eliterenewables.co.uk. We make the process really simple, so we'll have an initial chat where we'll be able to give you a ballpark estimate for your project. We'll then send one of our technical team over to your property to visit you, to understand the property in a bit more detail and to conduct a detailed survey so that we can give you an exact quote. Contact us by giving us a ring or dropping us an email through our website today.